So I was recent, recently watching a program called Dubai Bling, which my wife watches on Netflix. It's about like a bunch of women and their partners in Dubai, um, rich and famous, lavish. It's one of them kind of housewives of whatever, whatever it's called. Um, and she's been watching this series for a while now and I've been seeing it on and stuff like that, not really paying attention. But yesterday I actually paid attention, um, sat down and watched an episode and they was having like, a seminar for these new entrepreneurs that were coming through specifically women it was like a dragon's den style where they was pitching their ideas and one of the speakers on stage said you know um introduced the panelists and they said you know we've got a bunch of speakers on here today and the reason why we have a bunch of speakers different speakers from all walks of life is because one sentence can change your life and you never know where that sentence is going to come from and the more different people these sentences can come from the more likelihood it is that your life you know it can change your life and that resonated with me that line because I've, i just found power in it and so much truth in that you know one sentence can change your life and i've put together five sentences that i've heard over the last 10 years um that have changed my life and made an impact to me and that just stuck with me now everywhere i go so i wanted to share them with you um with hope that maybe they can change your life too and if they don't at least you'll understand and be more mindful that wherever you go wherever you are whoever you're with be mindful that one sentence someone says to you can change your life so the first one is extrovert by choice introvert by nature and i i i learned this from i believe i first heard it from one of my mentors um years ago and i, w I think we was having a conversation and we were talking about extroverts and introverts and i said i'm an introvert and my mentor was like really i, I think you're an extrovert i was like no nah, like i'm an introvert like i'm kind of like you know i've, I've I come, you know, I can come across a certain way. This was probably about ten years ago, so this was me then. You know, things change, people change, I've changed. But at the time, I was like, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm an introvert. And he was like, you know, sometimes you can be an extrovert by choice and an introvert by nature. And I realized that's what I was doing. That's what I was being. You know, when I'm in, when I'm in a certain surrounding, I can switch it on. I can be outgoing. I can be social. I can be, um, I can project. You know, I can, I can, I can be um you know just 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 pretty much like like a like a social butterfly um that's me choosing to do that though that's not my default my default by nature is i'm quite introverted i like time alone i like to be in my own thoughts i like to just chill you know i don't need to be the life of the party i don't need to be everywhere um but when it comes to stepping into a room um I can switch it on by choice. I can do it by choice, right? So it's something that I have access to, but by default, I'm quite introverted. So that's just not a sentence that kind of sat with me and, and, and has lasted with me that even though you're in, you know, you can be an introvert and um, you can also become an extrovert as well. And it's kind of like a, a skill to be able to switch between both. Um, even though we might have one that's more default and by natural to our nature, um, it's still good to have access to it as well. So that was one line that really stuck with me. Um, another line that's really stuck with me is, don't judge a man by his words. I've got my notes there, that's why I'm looking to the side. Um, don't judge a man by his words, judge a man by his actions and his habits. Um, and this, I don't know where I heard this. I can't tell you where I heard it, but again, it's a sentence that changed my life. What tends to happen is when I'm speaking to people or when you're speaking to people, or when anyone's having a conversation, whatever comes out of our mouths can be manufactured. You know, when you're speaking to someone, people can just say the right things because it's easy to. So if you ask someone, you know, how's it going? They can say, yeah, da -da 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 -da, I'm doing this, I'm doing that or da -da 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 -da. But it's not about words. It's not about what someone's saying. It's not about what you're saying. It's about the habits. It's about their actions. And you might think, yeah, but that's that's obvious right but there's a little bit more to it because human beings are clever they're sophisticated we can formulate and put together the right things to say to make everything look great or everything look bad or whatever it is we're trying to paint whatever picture we're trying to paint we can do that with our words but sometimes you've got to pull aside the curtain and take a peek at what people are actually their habits what they're spending their time doing what they actually um you you know you know their their choices and what this what what this is called there's a word for this and it's called congruency it's being congruent 
Is your words aligned with actions? Is your choices aligned with your habits? And I found this to be a little bit of a hack because now when, when, I'm, when I'm having conversations with people, um, it's not so much about the words. The words can go, like they, I just let them go over my head because as, as I know, people could say the right things. Um, I'm more look and look, take a look at your actions, not what you've got. I'm, now, I'm, I'm, I'm way beyond and wise enough and I hope you are too now to see it's not about what you've got. It's not about the watch that someone's got on. It's not about the clothes that they're wearing or, or the cars. Because again, people can have those things to hide a lack or have those things to cover up, you know, what's really like, you know, just they can have those things and really have nothing in the background. You know, they're pushing these things up front, but there really is nothing in the background. So forget that. Forget material things. It's more looking at their habits. So, you know, what food are they eating? You know, what workouts are they doing? What books are they reading? How are they treating people? What energy are they vibrating at? You know, what movies are they watching? Um, what seminars are they attending? You know, um, what, you know, what meditations are they doing? You know, there's so much things and habits and choices that you, that you have to look at to gauge how a person really is as a person, as a human, than just the words that they say or the cars that they drive. So that's one sentence that really stuck by me. Um, don't judge a man by his words, judge him by his actions. Really look at what he's doing. Is it congruent with what he's saying? Um, another word and another sentence, should I say, that has changed my life is thoughts lead to emotions, emotions lead to actions, and our actions lead to results. Um, thoughts lead to emotions, emotion leads to actions, and our actions lead to results. So let's start first. So this is a sentence that changed my life, and I read it from T. Half Eckers. Uh, Secrets of a Millionaire Mind and he's got a section in there, I highly recommend this book, he's got a section in there that basically breaks down the difference between poor people and rich people, not just on a financial sense, in a mindset and an abundance and a scarcity sense, right? So not, not just finances, but in a mindset. Um, and he said the biggest difference between rich people and poor people is the way they think, okay? And if you want to be, if you, wanna, if you want uh, what poor people have, think like a poor person if you want what rich people have think like a rich person okay and the difference between those two people is their thoughts and it all starts with their thoughts that's why a majority of personal development books all start or have the word think in it the magic of thinking big think and grow rich you know as a man thinketh you know that it all starts with our mind and our thoughts and our thoughts lead to our emotions so the first, let's break it down. If I, it's even something as something as trivial as um, having a having a clean car, right? Make a, a nice on the outside, clean, you know, washed, shiny, you know, a clean car. How do you achieve a clean car? So first of all, I need to think. Okay, the car needs to be clean. That's a thought. You know, I need to have the thought of a clean car. Okay, then that leads to the emotion side, you know, of why I would want a clean car. You know, the emotional side is pride. You know, I want to I wanna be driving and feel and look good, right? That's the pride side. And then that, mo that, that feeling of pride motivates me to then take action of getting a bucket and a sponge and cleaning the car, which then that action leads me to having a clean car. Okay, so thoughts lead to our emotions, emotion leads to actions, actions lead to results, right? But then the question is that I pose to you and I ask to you and many people is what drives our thoughts? If that's the uh, beginning part and that's where everything starts, then what drives our thoughts? And there's ideas and concepts out there um, by Sigmund and Freud and, you know, other scientists and people that have studied the brain and they all, most of them say what what drives our thoughts in the very beginning is our philosophies aka our beliefs whatever our beliefs and our philosophies are that's what actually initiates the thought and our beliefs and our philosophies all come from programming conditioning what we got learnt from what we learnt from our parents what we learnt from our siblings what we learnt from our teachers what we learnt from our coaches what we learnt at school what we heard about money what we heard what we saw about money what we heard about friendship what we saw in the news all of these things growing up between the age 0 and 11 which is seen as our formative years as a human being it's our formative years whatever gets dumped into our brain there becomes our natural programming which then 
sparks our thoughts later on in life it's like a cabinet a, a, a cabinet right a mind cabinet whatever got dumped into our cabinet as you know between the age zero and eleven is where we draw our files from right which is our thoughts so you gotta hope that in your cabinet is productive you know things that you can benefit from in that in that mind cabinet and if it's not it's just a case of reprogramming your mind as an adult and putting new stuff in there through you know um um subliminal thoughts through um word program word programming affirmations um you know meditating all of these things can really change and rejig your wealth cabinet so but that's the sentence that really changed um my life um and the last but not least is profits are better than wages wages make you a living and profits make you a fortune now this is by the late great jim Rohn, which from the very first day i heard this sentence it's, it's changed my philosophy if you like my, my, my it's that cabinet that i'm talking about it placed a new file in that cabinet and now it's always a thought that bubbles up it's a thought that always leads to an emotion makes me feel um abundant makes me makes me feel blessed makes me feel strong which leads me and pushes me to my actions which is work hard grind hard build hard um which ultimately gives or will give me the result that i'm looking for in my goal so um profits are better than wages wages make you a living profits make you a fortune so let's just break that down real quick before we end this video of what what that means um it's, 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 it's self-explanatory but you can also dissect it in a few other ways so profits are better than wages wages make you a living profits make you a fortune you can go to work and you can and you can um make 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 a fo uh, wage and um, that will give you a certain kind of lifestyle but the problem is is that you can only work so many hours a day so if you're getting paid by the hour or you're getting paid annually or whatever it is there is only 24 hours in a day and eight of those hours need to be spent sleeping um and then so that leaves another 16 hours for you to uh, 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 so that leaves another 18 hours for you to work eat sleep whatever it is uh, work and uh, do whatever else so the way the system works is they give you eight hours to work so if that's your eight hours cool you go to work every day you work at eight hours but like i said there's only 24 hours in a day so you can never say you work you chose to work every hour and every day seven days a week okay you can only maximum work 24 hours seven days a week there's no more than that so you're limiting it. if you're getting paid by the hour you're capped off the only way to make more than that is if you earn more per hour okay but what the thing is profits is you get paid profit is getting paid based on your results so if you work in a sales job and you get a commission right it doesn't you're not getting paid by the hour you're getting paid per result so if you can bring in x amount of clients you get paid for those amount of clients so there's no limit because you're not getting it's not an hour structure it's more of a result structure and that's what I love about mar um, network marketing. That's what I love about sales is that you get paid based on your results. You get paid based on um, your value that you're adding to the company as opposed to the hours that you work. Because hours are limited, but value can be unlimited, right? Say, for example, I think last year, the guy, um, Bob Eagle, the CEO of Disney, he got paid 120 million, right? Not because he worked, at, he not not because he um, got, gets paid a wage or he gets paid by the hour. It's because he made the company seven billion, so they can afford to pay him a hundred million. Does that make sense? Because of the value, he got paid based on the results. He said, "Look, I've bought you guys seven billion this year. I'm gonna take a hundred million. That's peanuts." And they said, said "Yeah, sure, go and take that. That's what you're gonna get paid." easy peasy right because he's getting paid ba based on his value that he's bringing to the company based on the results not based on how many hours he's working and that's why it, it, you know getting paid based on profits can make your fortune it's unlimited as opposed to making a wage and but that, this is not me knocking a wage i love a wage you know you need to be having a wage you need to have a job to get you into the realm of ever having making profits or in a business so because you, you got to start somewhere um but you don't want to end there it's somewhere a wage is somewhere where you should we should in my eyes i want to start i have started um 
but I don't think you should end there once you're ready for retirement or once you reach a certain area of your life. 45, 55, I don't know, 65, there's going to come a time where the profits is going to serve us better than a wage. But that's just my thought. That's my just concepts. And those are the sentences that changed my life. And I press you and I, I, I'll ask you to drop a comment. Drop a comment. Let me know what sentence has changed your life. It could be something your grandma told you, your grandparent told you, a brother, a sister, a cousin, an uncle, a friend, a coach, a teacher, a mentor, anything. Drop a sentence below that has changed your life and you just can't help but ever unhear it ever again. Um, and that's it. I'm going to also drop a link to my courses um, which are now available on Etsy. I finally got them up on Etsy. They've been on Gumroad for a while, um, but they're now available on Etsy. So click the links if you want to get access to my my courses, my books, my uh, all of the stuff that I've got out that can help you learn, grow, and become more. You know, the uh, the more we feel better, and uh, when we feel better, we become more. So um, the products that I've got out are just designed to help people feel better and become more. Um, and that's it. Give this video a like and subscribe if you got value from it. And it's your boy has hustle from home, dad teaching dads how to hustle from home so that you can spend less time with your boss and more time with your wife and kids. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, peace.